anytime I get any bullion in that I'm not real familiar with, I, I test it just to make sure that uh, I know what I'm buying. Right, here's an American Elk Wildlife Series, uh, two ounce. And then I've got a variety of unusual ouncers. Uh, 1976 uh, Liberty Mint 2014 Indian I'm not sure who made that and then an old uh, Southeast uh, refinery in uh, Panama City Florida. The next we've got a Morgan dollar and a Peace dollar now none of this stuff has been tested so I don't know what our results gonna be we've got a old beat up 2000 American Eagle and a 2001 American Eagle about the same condition then we've got a variety of foreign coins here and sometimes you'll see these uh, foreign coins that might be nickel and and they look very much like silver so this test will be good for that also and this test works best the smoother the surface is if you're trying to test over the face of a well-defined Morgan head it's gonna be a little tough it will work but you're gonna have to take your time with it the next one is a 500 silver uh, Mexican coin not sure what that's gonna do and then I've got a uh, freedom girl in copper just for my own curiosity some odd token thing here year of the rat 2008 Chinese coin uh, looks like a big gold coin an old brass Studebaker tag uh, just curious and aluminum uh, token and a probably bronze old foreign coin we'll see what that does and we've got a 10 ounce Silvertown bar and a oh, Prospector's Golden Gems 10 ounce uh, poured. Anytime I get something in uh, a round, a silver dollar, etc., that I, I want to, to test because someone's wanting to sell it to me, yeah, first thing, test it with a regular magnet, and, and that's what this is. And, and I get no reaction from anything here of course now the counterfeiters have gotten smart and most of your fakes are not magnetic anymore so then we go on to the next step and honestly the next step should be and and probably at least part of the time is with me and that is get a weight on it you know know what your silver dollar should weigh. weigh very close to 26.73 grams on your Morgan or your peace dollars and that's going to vary a little bit because of where but if you're looking at a silver dollar and you weigh it up and it weighs 24 grams you know it's a fake if it weighs 30 grams there again you know it, it's a fake and you really need to go no further. On your, it should be very close to 31.1 grams. And most other things, uh, you're not going to go by weight that much on. Uh, most of your rounds weigh 31.2 grams, up to 31.4 grams. But I really don't use the weight that much on on testing uh, rounds. Now, if I get one in that's far underweight or far overweight and when I say far we're talking two grams yeah it's a, a huge red flag and chances are it's more than a red flag it's a confirmed fake we don't really see a whole lot of it I, I would say that it's still well under five percent uh, fakes that that come through the definitive test for silver rounds coins bars that are not magnetic uh, that are fake and I don't know how many of you have seen the uh, slide device that uh, a man sells here on YouTube 
for testing large quantities of uh, silver dollars. Uh, very cool, and that's partially where this uh, testing method came from. But it's called the slide test, 